Greetings, everybody. So on this short video, we are going to explain how we can create zoomed in subfigures uh, in MATLAB plots. Uh, so this is usually very useful when you're preparing some uh, image for a publication. I have a very simplistic code right here, just to have a graph of uh, three different figures, uh, three different curves, I'm sorry. And let's say I want to create a zoomed in subfigure uh, to see a bit more in detail what happens between the time three and five, right? So the process is very, very simple and very uh, modifiable. So I'm going to show you the basics and then you can play for yourself and do whatever you like. So I'm going to hit insert and I'm going to insert axis. Okay, so we are practically inserting a new figure right here. So uh, we choose the axis size which you don't really it doesn't really matter because we can modify it later so practically this is an empty axis right so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to copy using my mouse these curves inside this new figure first curve second curve and third curve so practically now uh, this graph is a copy of the bigger graph right but what i need to do is to uh, make it zoom into the region between three and five. So I'm going to double click right here. So these are the figure options. So first of all, remember, uh, since this is a very, very small sub figure, if you print it in a PDF or some paper that you're preparing, the axes are going to look very, very small. So let's make the axes a little bit bigger. Let's choose a 10 and a bold. So now they're a bit cleaner. So. We are going to go to rulers and change this limit in the x-axis from 0 to 5. I'm going to make it from 3 to 5. Much better. And let's also make the graph a little bit better. Let's also add some xy grids. And I would suggest we also add a box. So we go to box styling. And this is because this curve and this curve, these two edges, I'm sorry, are bold. But this edge and this edge aren't. So I'm going to choose a box. So this is now much, much better. So this is practically a zoomed in uh, e figure of this sub region right here. You can also do other stuff. For example, you can make it a bit larger if you like. Okay. And also you can play with other tools. For example, the hand right here. Uh, as you see, the Y axis is automatically fitting to the curves that we have. So I can simply play with the axis a little bit and move the graph a bit higher up. So this is it. And now the only thing I have to do is add a secondary rectangle to let it know, to make it understandable that this smaller uh, subfigure is actually a zoomed in uh, region of this uh, uh, specific region. So I'm going to hit insert. I'm going to insert a rectangle. So I'm going to put a rectangle in this region right here. Now, I will also change it to make it uh, better looking. I'm going to make it a dash line so this is clearer and i'm gonna also insert an arrow right here uh, so now i believe the graph is very very understandable this smaller sub figure is a zoomed in uh, figure of this sub region right so you can add uh, multiple sub figures of course you can play with it yourselves so simply put let's say as another example that i'm gonna i want to include another sub figure for this region right here I'm not going to do the whole process from the start. I will simply copy paste this graph that I have already prepared and looks very nice. I'm going to make it of appropriate size. And now I will just need to change the x axis. So I'm going towards uh, rulers. I don't want it to be 3 to 5. Uh, I want it to be around this region. So let's make it. Uh, 0 0.44 until 0 0.55. All right. So this is now a zoomed region of this small region right here. And again, as I told you, you can play with all the available tools. So for example, I can move this, this on the right a bit, or maybe I can possibly uh, zoom out a little bit using my mouse. So I think that is much, much better, right? Perfect. So you can use all the traditional tools that we have for figures. So now I only need to also add a rectangle right here. I'm going to try to be as close as possible to the real coordinates. I'm going to make it into a dash. And again, I'm going to insert an arrow to let it 
the obvious that I'm zooming in for this subregion. So now I believe the graph looks amazing, right? It is very easy to do it yourselves. As you can understand, you can copy paste multiple sub figures. Just make sure that the axes are very, very clear and bold, especially if the figure is gonna be printed uh, in a, you know, for example, a double column format or whatever. I can do the same thing actually for the main figure as well. Nice, so I think now it looks uh, even better. Right, so you can play for yourself. The process is very, very simplistic. I don't think you will have any problems doing it, but if you have any questions, write them down in the comments and we are going to discuss uh, other topics about figures in the next video.